Adjust Inventory Window The Adjust Inventory Window enables you to adjust item quantities and values. For example, if your inventory gets damaged, you may have to write off some of your inventory or revalue it. Field Descriptions Inventory Journal Number Enter the journal number you want to assign to this transaction, or accept the default journal number. This number will be recorded in the inventory journal. If you want to enter a different journal number, leave the IJ prefix already assigned, so you can identify the transaction as an inventory transaction later. Date Enter the date of the inventory adjustment. Memo Enter a description of the inventory transaction. If you want to, you can also enter a description in each line of the transaction in the memo column. When you record this transaction, only the value of the inventoried items affected will be recorded in the inventory journal, not the actual quantities. You can use the memo field to enter the transaction's quantity information, if you want to view this information in reports later. Item Number Item Name Column Depending on how you view items in lists, enter the item number or name of the inventoried item you want to adjust. Only inventoried items for which you selected the I inventory this item option in the item information window can be selected. Location ID column premier range only if you use multiple inventory locations, enter or select the location ID in this column. Quantity column. Type the quantity by which you want to increase or decrease the quantity held. Only type the quantity variation. Type the quantity in inventory units not buying or selling units. If you enter a positive number, that number is added to your on-hand inventory. If you enter a negative number, that number is subtracted from your on-hand inventory. Unit Cost Column The default unit cost appears in this field, which is the average cost of the item the total cost of the item quantities divided by the number of units on hand. You can change this value if you want to. Amount Column The amount that appears in this column is the unit cost multiplied by the item quantity. If you change the amount in this column, the unit cost will also change. Note that you can change the price of an item later for example, in the item information window you do not need to change it in this field. Account column. And the account to which you wish to allocate the adjustment transaction. This needs to be an allocation account such as a cost of sales or expense account for shrinkage and spoilage. Job Column If you want to, enter or select a job number for the transaction. Memo Column Enter a description of this line of the inventory transaction. This description will appear on reports and windows such as the Recap Transaction window, Items Register or Find Transactions window. Category If you use Category Tracking, Enter or select a category for this transaction. Journal. Click to open the inventory view of the transaction journal window. Register. Click to open the items register window, where you can view inventory transactions. Record. Click to record the transaction. Cancel. Click to close the window without saving your changes.